<coughs> Hello, today we're going to look at um, how to configure DHCP reservation on your Virgin Media Hub. <coughs> Log into the Hub, go to Advanced Settings, scroll down to DHCP, and click on DHCP reservation. There's a couple of reasons why you would want to do this. Um, if you had uh, a media server or a file server at home and you wanted it to be on the same IP address all the time um, or you wanted to uh, lock down uh, lock a particular device to an IP address because you want to block it um, access to the internet at certain times of the day um, <clears throat> so when devices connect to your router they'll always use the ACP and depending on how you got your lease time set up you, you more likely would always get the same um, IP address but your IP address could change um, so if you block a device with an IP address say for example you want to know that that device is always on the same IP address so setting the ACP reservation will ensure that your device is already on the same IP address now what you normally do is you would select a device here um, it will populate the table down here and then you can add a reservation the only problem is uh, what you can't do with a server Virgin Media Super Hub you can't say okay I've already got um, a device here say for example um, this device here which is an Android device um, it's already reserved at, um, .4 if I try to change that say to .40 I'm just going to change the name as well um, it doesn't like underscores in the name for some reason and I had the reservation it will say the device is already in the lease table so you can't really do that um, you have to accept the device it's already got anyway once you populate the device into the table there um, you then click the apply button so uh, let's see if we can pick a device here this is uh, this one shouldn't be in the uh, lease table at the moment so we'll add that one Big pun it is. Um, let's find one that isn't, and then we can try and uh, populate that. <clears throat> okay, looks like we haven't got one, so let's make one up. Uh, and then we give it a spoof IP address, a spoof MAC address. We'll put that in the lease table. We can see that's there here that's our new one and then we click apply <coughs> Excuse me. and it goes in the table and you can see it's there in the table if you want a particular device to be on a particular IP address and it's already in your lease table on a different IP address the only way you're going to be able to do it with the Virgin Media Super Hub um, at least that I know of is that you would um, disconnect the device from the network uh, reboot the hub uh, to flash the um, DHCP lease table and then configure it manually like we did with this test device here yeah and then apply it and then bring the device back online and then it will get the new IP address um, apart from that <coughs> if you want to remove a device uh, you just check the checkbox right there and just click apply and then we can see that device is gone now yeah You'll notice that some don't have the um, delete checkbox enabled and that's because they're automatically assigned by the DHCP server, they're not reserves. You can see all the other ones here are all reservation. And that's it basically, that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching.